Hi, I'm Tony Mitchell from Exalta Refinish Europe. Have you ever seen this happen before? A discoloration of a repair area after painting. There is a change in colour where a body filler repair has been carried out. You think that you have done everything correctly and that you have followed all of the right steps. So what's gone wrong? What's the cause of this effect? This defect starts well before you started applying undercoat or base and clear and is directly linked to insufficient mixing of the hardener and the polyester body filler or an over addition of hardener in your polyester body filler. The hardener used in polyester products is peroxide and this is actually a bleaching agent. The body filler requires only 2% by weight of this hardener for the chemical curing reaction to take place. Any more than that remains unused and leaches through the subsequent paint layers causing the discoloration by bleaching the pigments within the base or top coat. Some people in our industry still believe that the polyester body filler will cure faster if they add more than the required amount of hardener to it when mixing, particularly so in colder weather. Sadly, this is not the case. Always mix your body filler with hardener as per the TDS. And just as you would do for polyester spray filler, consider mixing on a scale so that the correct amount of hardener can be added. The colour you now see is a visual reference for you when you don't have access to a scale. Alternatively, use a recommended and correctly adjusted dispenser to ensure that the correct amounts are used. Either way, ensure that the body filler and the hardener are mixed thoroughly. Some will say, that you can block and cover this bleeding effect by applying a coat of black or fine aluminium colour to the affected area. In truth, however, the only recommended remedy is to remove the body filler from the affected area and reapply correctly mixed material. Once done, allow to dry, sand and reapply the complete paint system build up again. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time in our paint defects tutorial.